So, so the Shelley release is not really a release. It's a, it's a whole bundle of features which we will be delivering over a, over a period of time. Um, and it, it divides really into two parts. There's the uh, decentralization that everyone's very excited about. And there are a whole bunch of wallet features. Um, and what we've decided to do is to prioritize the, the wallet features um, and get those out um, first. And um, the decentralization will, will follow on later. So let's see, what wallet features are we looking at? So there's, there's paper wallets. Uh, there's hardware wallets with, with the ledger hardware, um, and then we've got multi-signature accounts. Um, so maybe I should go through um, each, each one of those and just give a brief overview of, of what, we'll be, uh, what we'll be seeing in each one. Um, so with, with paper wallets, this is about uh, you know, being able to print out um, your, your wallet and have it offline, right? so that you don't have to, have, um, don't have to run Daedalus all the time, um, and your private keys are not being kept on your, on your desktop. They're printed out, put on a piece of paper, and you stick it in your safe. Um, and we'll, we'll be delivering that, actually, sort of two versions of that, I think. Um, there, there'll be a version that'll be coming out relatively soon, uh, which is a front-end only solution. It'll, be, it'll be, have some limitations to it. And then we'll follow it up with a, a slightly more fully featured um, paper wallet uh, uh, scheme a little bit later. Um, then uh, hardware wallets is, is a very exciting one. So we're working with, um, with Ledger, um, the, these little Ledger devices. Uh, and that will mean that uh, your private keys are not on your desktop or laptop, but they're on you know, the, little, uh, the little device. Uh, and that gives a much higher degree of security. Um, so if you're storing a lot, of, a lot of money, paper wallets, great, or the ledger device. Um, and the ledger device means that it's secure and it can be online. Right? Whereas with the paper wallet, obviously it's offline and it's stored in your safe. So you can't make payments in that case. You can see, you'll still be able to see in Daedalus um, you know, what your balance is with a paper wallet. Uh, but you won't be able to make new payments. Uh, whereas with the, with the ledger device, uh, the, the, the keys are stored on the, on the device uh, and you can still make payments. Um, so we're, we're, we're part way through that project at the moment. Um, uh, and then uh, the last one, uh, multi-sig. Uh, so this is where you, it's basically joint accounts, right? It's where, you know, if you think about a normal bank account, you can have joint accounts with, you know, you and, you and a partner or, or whatever. Or a, or a business partnership or something, where you can say, you know, there's two people who, who own this account and it requires a signature by both people to be able to, to make a payment. Um, and multisig is, is exactly that, but for, for, um, you know, for the Cardano and Daedalus uh, wallets. Uh, and in general, it's you know, any number of people with some subset um, uh, required to sign, like you know, uh, an account that's owned by three, three people and two people are required to sign every, each payment. Um, so that's, that's a feature in the, in the wallet that we will be um, um, trying to deliver as part of the Shelley um, program. Uh, and then we come to decentralization. Um, so as I said, we're prioritizing the wallet features because everybody really wants those. Uh, and we will, we will follow up with the uh, decentralization features. So um, what are the components of that? We've got, we've got networking uh, to make, the, peer to, to make the, the network layer properly peer-to-peer. Um, and then we've got a bundle of features that sort of go together um, that, that finally make the thing properly decentralized, that, that hands control uh, over to the, to the community. Um, so we have um, some game theory, some incentives, the incentive mechanism. How, how are people rewarded for, um, for delegating or for running stake pools, for, for running, running full nodes? Um, so we're working with um, uh, um, game theory experts, um, working that out at the moment. Um, we've got the how does delegation actually work? How because at the moment you know it's it's everybody is sort of delegated to to the, the core nodes which are run by you know um, Cardano Foundation and IOHK and Amergo, um, and how do we how do we go from that very simple delegation scheme to you can delegate to whoever you want you know to be able to have these these stake pools and you can choose who to delegate to uh, or to run your own run your own node. So that's the delegation um, set of features. And um, uh, and then the um, uh, it's also worth mentioning voting. Um, so this is about how do we do software updates. Um, and actually, for the moment, we are not going to um, go fully decentralized on the voting for for software updates because we still have a whole we, we haven't figured out entirely yet how to how to hand voting completely over to the community in a way that guarantees that we'll be able, still be able to make forward progress. Because um, we don't want to get into a situation where, you know, IOHK has come out with like, you know, some new Gogan features or some new, you know, the latest, the latest and greatest, and we end up in a situation where we're stuck, that, that 
you know, something has gone wrong with the social dynamics of voting and nobody knows how to vote or nobody cares enough. Or, so we don't, we don't want to get into that situation. Um, so we, ha we have to do a bit more analysis first before we uh, roll out fully decentralized voting for update proposals and updating the software. Um, so that one will come along eventually, but that will be um, m much later. Um, but we will have the, the decentralization of the, of the network and of the um, staking, stake pools, uh, and delegating. Uh, and so that, those, are the, those are the core components of, of making the system decentralized. Uh, and IOHK, for the moment, will retain control over proposing new software updates and uh, deploying new software updates to everybody. So, so Shelly is not a, like a, a single Big Bang release. Shelly is a, a whole bundle of features that, that make sense together that will be delivered over a period of time, because we're not, we're not doing Big Bang releases. Um, I mean, we, we did that for the, for the mainnet release at the beginning, but what's much better software engineering practice is that you just have your software development team cranking through things and releasing them as and when they are ready. Um, and that, that makes everything much more productive, it's much easier to test, you get much more reliability and predictability in your software de development process. So corresponding to that, we're not going to have like, you know, an all singing, all dancing release and everything's ready all at once, all at the same time. It will be, we will release things as soon as they're ready. Um, and that, that's the best way to do things these days. So that, in particular, that means um, we're aiming for, for sort of roughly four-week uh, cycles uh, on, on, um, on software releases. Uh, it, might be, it might be four, it might be six. We're, we're, we're figuring out the, um, the, the tempo at the moment. Um, uh, but that means that, yeah, we will simply release these features as soon as, they are, as, soon as they're ready. So we're prioritizing um, wallet features. Um, and the decentralization decentralization features will come uh, later on. So it'll be so Shelley is really a, a program of work that is sort of smeared out over time, um, and so certain things sort of have to come together. Like the many of the decentralization features don't make sense without they're interdependent. They don't make sense on their own. Um, but like the wallet features, you know, they they make sense individually. Um, they're they're individually useful. Um, whereas the the decentralization features, you know, maybe we will have them lots of stuff released in the code, but not yet sort of enabled until all of them are ready. So to some extent, the decentralization is um, a bit more like a Big Bang, um, um, but, uh, uh, but everything else is, 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 is spread out. Uh, and in particular, actually, the networking, um, the, the, the networking stuff needed for decentralization, we probably will be able to um, get that out uh, and get that in use um, before we flip the switch on, on full decentralization. Um, but those other, the, the, the decentralization features that are really tied together is the, the stake pools, the uh, being able to delegate, uh, and um, uh, the intensive scheme that, that makes that all work. Um, so th those will be, we'll flip the switch on that, you know, sort of at one point, but the code for it will have been, you know, in, in releases uh, earlier than that probably. So at the moment we are um, doing a series of, of releases to, to make incremental improvements to, to the Byron release. And that's really trying to address uh, some of the problems that people have reported, you know, um, issues with connecting to the network and other sorts of things that, that have been plaguing users, uh, and making lots of internal improvements to improve the quality uh, and set the stage for us to be able to implement the, uh, the next round of features for Shelley. Um, so there'll be a release that's out shortly, um, and then uh, because we're doing this rolling release approach, we're, we're expecting to do then another release, um, again, with incremental improvements um, uh, sort of four to six weeks uh, later after that. Um, and that'll set the tempo from then on. It'll be um, regular releases um, on, a, on a rolling basis. So uh, stake pools. So the question is, what, what are they? And then uh, how, are, how are we going to get into it? Um, so uh, I mean, stake pools, it's, it's individuals or organizations uh, running full nodes and uh, then other people being able to delegate to them. So as, as you know, at the moment, uh, it, it's effectively like right now, you know, IOHK and Emergo uh, and the Cardano Foundation run the stake pools, uh, but they don't make any money from them. Um, but they control, you know, everybody delegates to those three organizations right now. And the idea is to generalize that out into anyone can run a stake pool and there'll be rewards for doing so. Um, so uh, it'll be possible to register uh, uh, to be a stake pool, uh, which will be uh, an open, open sort of process. And then in Daedalus, uh, users can choose, do they want to run their own node at home, or do they want to delegate to someone else? 
um, and you'll be able to see you know, all the different options, uh, who you delegate to, what the rewards might be um, for, for delegating. But also, if you are running a stake pool, um, uh, there are rewards that go to the stake pool leader. Um, and they, they compete with each other for um, running the best stake pools, giving the best rewards, having the greatest reliability. Um, and at the, right at the moment, we are just at the process of completing the, the game theory analysis of how does how, how's the sort of competition between stake pools going to work so that we end up with a healthy balance of, of different stake pools. Because we don't want a situation like with Bitcoin where effectively there are only like five mining pools in the whole world. So we've got, in fact, there a great degree of centralization. I mean, right now we've got, in, in Cardano, we've got, you know, three uh, organizations and, and we say that's not enough, right? We, we say that's not sufficiently decentralized. Um, Bitcoin is like effectively five. We want that to be a lot more than that. Um, so we have a, a game theory uh, analysis, uh, analysis of this where we, there's a parameter in the, in, the, in, the, in the game theory that you can control that, that uh, should end up with there being uh, a, a larger number of, um, of state pools that are of relatively even sizes to each other. So there's not massive dominance um, from one to another. So that's, there's, 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 that's kind of the theory side of things. Um, and then the question is then, how, how are people going to get involved in that? Um, well, uh, we will have a, at some point we'll have a, um, a test net um, for people to um, experiment with being with running a state pool, experiment with being a state pool leader, um, and uh, we our, our comms team will will engage with the community uh, at some stage on how, you know signing people up, people who are interested, um, and then we can get feedback from them um, and see um, and so we'll, we will we will define how exactly that's going to work. It's not it's not um, uh, not the full details yet. But uh, that, that'll come along at a, um, in, in time for, for us flipping the switch on full decentralization.